Talking about confronting the neighborhood bully, and we have seen an awful lot. It's not only between the kids. Have you noticed that? The parents are going mm -hmm. at it, too. What is your comment? I know. Well, my comment is to, well, all the bullies here. I, I had it from both ends, kind of. Um, I was bullied in school by a girl, and then I would go home and just bully all the boys on the block. Um, <laughs> I'm serious, too. Um, now, I mean, just, just to, what is your name with the braids? Renee. I mean, it's obvious that you're the one that's the bully. I think you should um, worry more about your school well, you books and, and all your... We don't even go to the same school. Why don't you listen to what she's saying? I mean, I think you should care, care more about the things that are important, like your schoolwork and getting ahead and things like that. Because the girl that used to bully me in school, I saw her recently, and she's a homeless person now. Okay, she had the, the mouth and the this and the that and used to bully up on all the kids. She's homeless now. And you should think about that. Mm. Very good, very good. Yes, Renee. Did you want to respond? I go to her answer. Okay, I go to school. I come home. I play volleyball. I shouldn't even see her. I don't hardly never see her. You don't never see me outside unless I'm with one of my girls. And most of the time, most of my girls, they don't come around all that time. But you know, Sandra Renee, the, I, know, I agree I with what her. the lady said. The amount of energy. If you put that much energy into your studies, you'd be a rocket scientist. My mom I'm said, what goes around comes around, and that's what it sounds like having your friend. What went around came around. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, up here. I just wanted to say that um, I think it's the mothers that are causing the problem because, I mean, that one, I'm sorry, in the plaid shirt, that's was bad. cursing at the little boy. How does she expect him to get along with her son? So you're saying they're setting a bad example here. Yeah, I mean, you have to set a better example, or how else are they going to, you know... I do have to ask all of you moms, because you two, you, the two moms on either side of the bully, uh, of the bully situations are fighting each other. What kind of example are you setting when it comes to conflict resolution? When you've, when you've stood up so many times, you've said, please don't fight, please don't fight. You get so angry and your stomach gets so many knots, you have nothing else to do but then start defending yourself. Mm -hmm. When you tell your children, don't stand up and, you know, just... Things, things just move over. You know, it's just a little fight. No, it's not a little fight. It goes on and on and on. And when, it doesn't, it just well, never I've even stop. Including aid in, in different things, taking him to McDonald's with Will. Um, he come over, sleep. He would want to get up in time to go to church. Sundays is my time. I don't, you know, get up very early. And I have offered Will to come to Boy Scouts and all that to be with Aiden to join in with Boy Scouts. So, I mean, I and, have tried. And we both have tried. So, where does it go wrong? Y'all can't let the children run the thing. I know. Putting the parents putting their foot down and both parents doing well, the see, same I, thing con I have consistently. Got, I have gotten to the point, it's been going on like two, three years now. Mm -hmm. At first, it used to get me all upset, okay? And after a while, and then I, me and her were getting a knockdown drag out fight on the phone and cussing each other out the whole nine yards. The whole time, me and her cussing and fighting each other. These two outside play, getting, playing and making friends. See, that's the way it gets. Oh, gosh. And then when we've made then, up, then, then they're we, back we, Then the when end. we make up and everything's going fine, we get along fine, and I go over to her house, drink coffee, she comes to my house, drink coffee, them two are fighting again. You sound like you want some kind of resolution to this. Right. That oh, you I want some kind. Do. And just a little bit later in the show, we are going to have somebody who's going to come along and help parents and kids work oh, these things out, at least gives you some tools to try. Yes, ma'am. I probably won't get this sentence finished either, but... um. Frankly, I don't care if Renee and Julie are never friends again. We have to move, okay? Um, I went to open house with Julie last year. All of her teachers say that she's a big liar. She's 14. Oh, she's in the seventh grade. You to talk about my daughter Renee like that. So we can just Renee go on to the story. Ninth grade. She's not going to go but and talk see, about I my daughter. I get it she's not, you're not going to talk about my daughter bad. We are if getting, you have something constructive to say, say it. But you're not going to say you're calling my daughter names. I'm not calling your daughter, daughter names. And another child now, you jumped to my daughter. To say, they jumped my say daughter on her way home. The people where we live said that I fought with 14 people. If I thought that I could whoop 14 people, I'd have whooped 14 of them <laughs> two years ago when I moved where I was living and I wouldn't have had any yeah, problems. Yeah, she had evicted from her last them. place for fighting. I have never her, been her evicted and her daughter. in never my been life. Yeah, right. Okay. That's why there's no names over she can't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Real quick, real quick. Real quick. From the audience, from the audience, please. I got two quick comments. For the for the lady in the From the audience, please. For the lady in the plaid shirt, you should teach you should teach your little son that even though if he don't have or somebody's bragging about yes, something that still don't give him the right to hit somebody else number two the girl in the braids i really think that you're the bully because the way you ca carry yourself and your attitude and something well, is you get something in the house you something in your house ain't right and that the, where is the fathers in all of this what do the fathers have to say well here's one father here's one father see where's yours 
Oh, here see, is we're not gonna bring the fathers in. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna bring a father in. Yet. Wait a minute, hold oh, on. Yes. I'm gonna bring a father because in. You guys are Excuse telling me. me that my child is a bully based he on lies. These people have never told, told, told the me. truth in he their entire lies. lives. Miss, I don't live. Wait, wait, miss. Wait, 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 one at a time, please. Joyce, hello, Joyce, Joyce, and I knew they Joyce, I see where your daughter's problem with listening comes from. Don't you tell me. Becky, it must be hereditary. When we come back, Joyce, don't you can't sound like that mother. Don't you people say the wrong like thing about you. No, Joyce, I know how to do it. You both sound the same. Yeah. No. Joyce, Joyce, this, Joyce this is the Rolanda show. I understand. And I'm going to bring in a father next. <laughs> But this is my show, and I have the floor, and you must respect that. Yes, We do deal with respect here, okay? <laughs> Some people say, where are the fathers? When we come back, I'm going to introduce you to a father, a father who is so upset over the fact that eight kids jumped his son that he is here today with a warning for all parents. That story made headlines, and we'll share it with you right after this.